Now, the reason why the 60s movement came about is because the churches were totally corrupted. God couldn't work through the churches anymore. See? And, then, um, and then after they defeated the 60s movement, the next, things that cut, the next thing that's making a stand against the wickedness in the world is the patriot movement. They're the ones that are speaking out against the wickedness because they're Americans. See, the hippies were like outcasts, you know, more like uh, uh, undesirables, you know, like Jesus Christ was hated by people. But the, 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 next, the next line to come into being is those that are um, like uh, government people, you know, uh, that are, 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 are uh, good intentioned. You know, they have good a good heart. They believe in the government, but they believe in 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 the uh, the honesty of the the law. They believe in obeying the law, even that much. You know, they're honest people. They believe in the American way of life, but they believe it of it. In, they're conservative. They believe it in a more honest way, and they're speaking out against the wickedness in high places. And they are the ones that are the target of the government now and that's why they say they're, uh, uh, there's all these uh, constitutionalists that have all these weapons and they gotta you know defend themselves they gotta buy tanks and all this stuff defend themselves against these people you know I'm not one of those but uh, uh, I see what's happening you know and I, I thank God for them that they, that they are the next line of defense against the wickedness you know and uh, I'm, I'm happy that they stand out against it. I only pray that they really would uh, uh, become Christian and not, and not government, you know. It's like a choice, you know. Some people told me, a guy told me one time, he says, you know, they, they told me whether I was for either the government or for the kingdom of God. He says, I chose the government, you know. So, um, yeah, so the, the, the hippies were more like free, you know, for, like, for the kingdom of God. They didn't care about all those government rules and stuff like that so uh, yeah I hope I hope uh, a lot of the people from the government do get converted to the kingdom of God you know that they do become a real Christian and free you know because the government is, is uh, uh, um, no is, is not fun you know it's like uh, what the hippies were doing was more like fun you know not the hippies these days the pagans but the ones that God was using after the churches were totally corrupted. And, um, you know, uh, that's why the long hair came in, the beards, you know, all of that. That was more biblical, you know. Than, but the government people always had short hair, you know, and uh, dress suit and tie, you know, very strict and stuff like that, you know. And, uh, and when the hippies were around, the, the government was, had, had both good and bad in there, you know. There was no division. They all worked together because they had, the good ones were really convinced that the government was good at that time, you know. And now the, the, they, they separated themselves and come out against the corruption. But before they were all fooled. But the hippies weren't fooled by any of it, you know. So that's why it's different, you know. And, uh, but they're still conservative, you know. They still like short hair and uh, uh, suits and ties and all that. But they're uh, standing against the the uh, corruption, you know. So they got rid of the hippies and something else comes to oppose them, you know. And now they're planning a war against that, I guess, you know. It's just strange, and but interesting, very interesting. But the, the spiritual condition of the land is destitute right now. It is dark. Because people don't have, have the morals like they did in this. See, the thing about living in the 60s is you'd ha you'd ha you would have to live there to understand there was always good, a goodness there among people, you know. And even when the, the 60s came in and there was fornication, things like that, but God was using them to lead people to Him. And that's why at the end of their careers, they always came close to God. And that's when, uh, God, that's when Satan wanted them dead. Even Jim Morrison, you know, he talked about um, all, so many biblical things, you know. And um, he talked about sin, and he talked about uh, a lot of different things, you know. He says, uh, 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 yeah, about he t it was one song, he says, uh, uh, 
Something about with the maiden with the iron hot. Oh, the law, the law, tell us about the loss of God, you know. Jim Morrison talked about that, yeah. So, yeah, some people think he was a pagan, but uh, he talked about the loss of God and the detriment he, that it was going on in this country. You give this man a ride, sweet family will die. You know, and that's why Alex Jones plays his music, because he recognizes the good things. See, Alex Jones is a little bit more looser than a lot of the government people, you know. So he's fun to listen to. I do, I do listen to him. I pray for his soul, you know, that he will come to the full knowledge of God, man. We're free, totally, and we don't have to fear them. But God is, will rule forever as king.